Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Eclipse Vox, creating an Eclipse user profile, I'm going to show you how to create a user profile and import the default voice writing settings provided with your purchase into that user profile. This is the first step to start voice writing in Eclipse. This video is based on the training provided in Real-Time Voice Writing 9th Edition for Court Reporting, written by Betty A. Keys. Before following the steps in this video, ensure that you do have Eclipse installed, and I will put a link to an installation instruction video in the top right. You also want to make sure that either your keyless license or hardware key is installed. And before you can move on to the next video in this series, you'll want to make sure that Dragon is installed. To get started, I'm going to open up version 9. In this instance, I already have a Steno user, and so instead of overriding that user, I'm going to choose Create New User. If this is your first installation of Eclipse or you're only going to use a single voice writing INI on this computer, after the installation process, you can simply create the user then. I'm going to choose create a new user and I'm going to put in my name and I'm going to call this user Ashley Vox. I'll choose next and I'm going to choose I will provide a short name and I'm going to type in Ashley Vox again. And I'll choose finish. And now you see that at the top of Eclipse, it specifies that I'm in my Ashley Vox user. And if I go to my user settings, it says Ashley Vox for username and Ashley Vox for user file, which is the INI file. If I click load settings, you see that I have my original Ashley file and I now have Ashley Vox. I'm going to hit cancel to remain in the Ashley Vox user. And if we click advanced, you see that the users folder is path to Ashley Documents Eclipse and the jobs folder, however, is path to Ashley Documents Eclipse Ashley Vox. And so if I open Windows File Explorer and go to Documents to my Eclipse folder, you see that I have an Ashley.ini and an Ashley.voxini, and I now have an Ashley folder as well as an Ashley Vox folder for my jobs. I'm going to close out of Windows File Explorer and go back to Eclipse. And I can close out of the advanced user settings. I just wanted to show you where the files for this user would be stored. The next step is to set up the user settings for your voice user. I'm going to click Import Settings. And since the purchase of Eclipse Vox does come with special setup files, I'm going to hit Browse. And in this case, I'm going to browse to the place where the files are stored. For me, it's a USB drive, but most people receive a DVD from us. However, accessing it will be the same. You can simply click on your DVD drive and access the files. I'm going to double click on the cat files folder and I'm going to double click on the voice court reporting .set file. I'm going to leave all of the user settings transfer options checked and press OK. I've imported the settings file included with the purchase of Vox and you see that at the top my toolbars now have custom Vox options. These settings have been optimized for use with Vox. After importing the settings, there are two major things you want to think about. The first is that you want to go to your user settings, click advanced, and make sure that automatically load last settings used is not checked. This will ensure that Eclipse will always ask you when it opens which user you'd like to use, and that'll help you ensure that you always use the correct settings. If you only have a single user, it's okay to go ahead and check this if you'd like. The second thing to keep in mind is the info bar. If I go to window, and view toggles, I have the option here to turn the info bar on or off. I can also use the auto magic settings in the pop-up window by choosing pop-up. The pop-up window will follow my cursor in the document and offer these same options on the left in that location instead. If I don't wish to use either the info bar or the pop-up option, I'd want to uncheck info bar, auto magic, and use numbers. I can use the pop-up window and the info bar at the same time if desired. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and turn the info bar on and leave auto magic and use numbers on as well. The info bar is very helpful for both new users and seasoned users. 
If desired, you can move your toolbars at the top of the screen by clicking on the grippers at the left-hand side of each toolbar, or by clicking on the separators between some of the icons on the toolbars. Either option will work and allow you to drag the toolbars around to whatever location you'd like them to be. You can also go to Window, Customize Toolbars to turn the toolbars on or off, or to add or remove icons to them. Importing the settings provided with the purchase, deciding on your info bar settings, and making any desired customizations to your toolbars are really all that's required in Eclipse to get going. In the next video, I'll show you how to make a user profile in Dragon and start writing real time in Eclipse Vox. Thank you for watching this video. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 7. If you have questions about creating a user for Eclipse Vox, or any other questions about Eclipse or Advantage Software's other products, feel free to reach out to us anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.